Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Starting off with the US there, you can see they were just on the downside already, just uh, touching potential support at 17.738 after Friday's doji there. Most global equity markets are a little bit on the back foot this morning. Uh, there does seem to be deflationary pressure impacting most markets and some big moves in FX as well. So uh, just we actually just ticked a little bit below this earlier on during the session, but we've managed to um, just ever so slightly go on the right side of the line but let's see if that will continue on as we have a whole raft of more PMI data to come out today. There's already been some really weak PMI data coming out of, uh, out of China um, which uh, isn't helping the markets any any time a lot and I'm fact, we've got a whole bunch of European uh, PMI data due later on today as well. You can see we've got uh, over in Germany and uh, we've also got some US data as well to, to keep us going. So moving on to the UK 100, also on the wrong side, bouncing off the 21 period SMA, albeit we are trading at the bottom end of today's range. This is a technical breakout, gapping lower this morning. Next potential support is at 65.89. Um, and this isn't so good uh, for uh, the UK equities in the short term. Crossover in the MACD, you can see we're firmly crossing these levels here, technical levels on the RSI and the slow stochastic. So um, technical pressures combined with some fundamental aspects, uh, it's not a good uh, starting block. Um, moving on to Japan 25, it broke through potential resistance at 17,496 as dollar yen basically has um, has kind of broken out, hitting about 119 um, on the back. Or basically, the US dollar is just going rampant across a lot of its uh, uh, a lot of its other majors out there, uh, down to the fact that there is the thought process that most of these other world governments, Japan and the ECB, I, I guess, um, need to do something to tackle the deflationary aspects that they've got in play right now. So. Looking at dollar yen, you can see there we're just having a bit of a, a retest of potential resistance at 118 spot 99. It just tucked, put its head above 119 earlier on this morning, I believe. 119 spot 03, um, which is the highest it's been for, for, for many, many years. Only just tucked slightly below it again. Um, this level has, uh, has not had a proper technical breakout yet. It needs to break and close above it, but um, certainly there does seem to be a little bit of momentum. We have to wait to see how US PMI comes out, which is widely expected to be way better than the Eurozone. If you look at the forecast of 58 right here, and then you look at the Eurozone, um, or the German uh, figure there, the forecast is 50. Anything below 50 is seen as a contraction, so um, that gives you a bit of an idea of the massive gulf there is between uh, between Europe and America. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, this is, goes from bad to worse. We've already hit $64 um, this morning. Uh, well, actually, it's going to the weekly chart. Let's see where the next potential support level is. Oh, it's it's a long way away. Uh, oh, matter of fact, we, you could arguably take sixty dollars as being one of the next levels. And in fact, I'm actually going to go have to have to go back here and tidy up some of these support levels now, because literally there's been so many technical breakouts now. Uh, there's no point in looking at these levels again for some time. Uh, let me switch back on to the daily interval. Um, so, you know, obviously things have not been looking that great for West Texas crude. <laughs> Uh, for some time, so I might have to get rid of this level as well just now. So these are arguably the, the, the core levels to look at. These are all historical levels. Uh, $64 will be the potential support. Next potential support will be $59.50. Um, that will possibly be a big psychological floor for uh, for West Texas crude. Technicals are just completely out the window right now. As the fundamental factors are, are hugely driving this uh, going forward. But certainly, the, the the strength of the moves that we've seen has been quite incredible. And just seeing it on a weekly standpoint, you know, that kind of puts that into context. So. Those are the core levels to be aware of. Uh, gold as well, completely reversed after um, the the Swiss. Um, uh, had the referendum about the uh, utilizing gold uh, as part of their reserve for the, against the currency. And you see we actually gapped lower this morning, um, but we have had made up a little bit of lost ground. 11.37 is a potential support, so um, we could be getting kind of a hammer formation right here. Uh, could be a bit of a short squeeze as well after such a, a sharp move to the downside, but it be interesting to see how this plays out throughout the day. We've got a crossover and a slow stochastic right there and the MACD, whereas the RSI is kind of neutral right now. Kind of very unusual patterns to have right here, but um, we are still in the middle of two ranges as ever, so 11.86 is going to be the potential resistance, um, but the fundamentals are definitely quite negative for gold in the short term. Finishing up with uh, Euro dollar and GBP USD, Euro dollar is again on the back foot as ECB is going to have to look to potentially cut rates as ever. It's um, 
looking kind of ugly out there, but one spot at 23.67 is the next potential support. Uh, we're not there yet, so there's still a little bit of room for maneuver. Uh, we're on the wrong side of that 21 period SMA. I'm finishing up with GBP USD. It's also moving to the uh, to the downside. We could have short term potential uh, support right here, around about uh, one spot 55. Let's say one spot 56, okay. And the next potential support level is just at the bottom right here at one spot 54.24. And uh, if we actually look at the economic data there today, and we fast forward onto Tuesday, you can see that you've got the domestic domestic auto industry sales um, tomorrow, and not much else. And then when we fast forward onto Wednesday, you've got more Chinese data, more UK data, uh, and you've got ADP private payroll. So GBP USD, my for most of the major FX pairs will be very much in vogue, and people will be talking about quid for some time to go. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever. Make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.